that the cameras of a few keen amateur railway photographers in the last two decades of steam locomotive action on British railways came some fascinating cine footage recording the end of an era. This series of videos is aimed at uncovering some of those unique movie shots taken during this period. The shots are basically unedited and therefore are in no fixed order, but rather than risk cutting out anything of interest, we're presenting them as they emerged from the camera, warts and all. Volume 1 begins at Birmingham Snow Hill Station, where we see the Stania 280 Class 8F mixing with some ex-Great Western steam locomotives. This 060 tank engine was a 3F GNT and was filmed just outside Birmingham at Marston Green. Away from the Midlands area to London's Clapham Junction. BR Standard Class 4MT 264 tank engine number 80133 was one of a class of 88 tonne locomotives designed at Brighton in 1951. Several of this class have survived into preservation but not this one, unfortunately. And neither did this one survive. Number 80085 was transferred to the southern region from Bletchley Shed. Engine number 34089 was a bullied light Pacific Battle of Britain class locomotive. It was named 602 Squadron. Several of these Ivert designed 262 tank engines found their way onto the southern region, despite being designed for the LMS. From the train window, this is Nine Elms Shed. This derailment had occurred just outside Waterloo Station. Another Ivert tank, this time at Vauxhall. Vauxhall was a popular location for railway enthusiasts, especially when other main lines had lost their steam engines. This is another BR standard tank engine. These engines had a tractive effort of 25,100 pounds. Another BR standard design, 76066, was a 260 tender locomotive and had a slightly lower tractive effort than the 264 tank to which it bore strong resemblance. another Ivert 262 tank engine, this one number 41312. Yeovil, another bullet light Pacific. Roughly half this class were named after locations in the West Country. The rest carried names associated with the Royal Air Force. 73037 was a standard 460 class 5 and was also designed in 1951. Before being transferred to the southern region, this particular locomotive had been allocated to the western region. 82029 was another BR standard design. It was a 262 tank engine and owed its design to the Swindon stable of British Railways. Another BR standard class 5. These locomotives, when coupled to their tenders, weighed over 125 tonnes. They were designed at Doncaster and had a tractive effort of 26,120 pounds.
41319, another Ivert tank, is seen light engine, back at Clapham. We move back to Birmingham Snow Hill Station as Britannia number 7004, William Shakespeare, passes with this special working. Britannia's were the first of the BR standard designs. Almost the same age as the Britannia's, but of a design which dates back to 1923, is Clun Castle. These former Great Western Railway Castle class locomotives were produced until 1950. Clun Castle was one of the remaining survivors in the mid-1960s and received an original repaint in her latter BR days. She's now a preserved steam locomotive. Here's Clun Castle after that repaint, passing Hockley Station just north of Snow Hill. Another castle to be preserved was Pendennis Castle. She can now be found in Australia, but in this picture was also passing through Hockley. Shots like this remind us just how long the Class 47 diesels have been around. This one is towing a dead Stania Black 5. And now a trip round the Midlands area behind two former LNWR 080 locomotives. They were numbers 49430 and 49361. The train left the main Birmingham to Derby line at Kingsbury and proceeded to the recently closed Baddersley Colliery. Back at Snow Hill, this is former LMS Stania 280, number 48175. 
These locomotives were introduced in 1935 and became some of the last steam locomotives to run on British railways, lasting until the final year, 1968. This is a former Great Western Railway Grange class locomotive. Sadly, none of these fine engines were preserved. Seven O Two Three. Penrice Castle was another post-war built member of the castle class. She was shedded at Cardiff for most of her working life. Nine seven five three was an 060 pannier tank of 1933 origin and was shedded locally at Tisley. Loughborough on the former Great Central Line. This B1 number 61369 was hauling the South Yorkshireman. And this V2 number 60925 was also on a northbound passenger working. as was Stania 262 tank engine number 40167. The Great Central at Loughborough is now home to an extensive preserved railway system. Another V2 heads through the station. These engines were designed by Sir Nigel Gresley. From the platforms of the Midland station at Loughborough could be seen the Great Central passing overhead. This engine is a K3. Another Stania Class 3 262 tank engine. And this LNWR 080 was heading south on the Midland main line. One last look at the Great Central before we return to Birmingham. This time it's New Street Station and a Stania Jubilee class departs with this passenger train. At this time, Birmingham New Street Station was undergoing extensive rebuilding. Across the city at Snow Hill, we see this Churchwood 262 tank engine number 4555 at work. Back at New Street Station, another Jubilee arrives. This British Railways Class 5460 was one of the class members to be fitted with the slightly larger BR1B type tender. Although a larger locomotive, this Britannia number 70031 had a smaller tender than the class 5. Still at Birmingham New Street, this locomotive was considerably older than the previous two. Its design dates back to 1875 and few remained in service at the end of the 1950s.
Back to Snow Hill once more, and one of the majestic King-class locomotives, built by Collett in 1927. Out into the countryside to Marston Green on the Birmingham to Coventry line, this is a rebuilt Patriot. This is a Thompson Class 5 460B1 on the bird's eye train. No Patriot class locomotives, rebuilt or original, survived into preservation. This is an unrebuilt member of the class, sometimes known as a baby Scott, at Spetchford. Four five 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 zero was one of only nine members of the class never to receive a name. Stanier 8F on the breakdown train was also filmed at Stetchford. And this Midland 0604F was passing through the now closed Saltley station. An unidentified Princess Royal class Pacific at Crewe and the forerunner of the Princess Coronation class, number 46220, Coronation. Both of these express engines were designed by Sir William A. Stanier in the 1930s. On show at Crewe that day were some much older engines, including this ancient LNWR single, Cornwall. Saddle tank number 1439. this ancient four-wheeled vehicle. And 58926 was an 062-2F Webb coal tank of 1882. The Britannia was virtually brand new, however. Another member of the Princess Coronation class, one which received the red livery in the late 1950s before we return to Stetchford and see engine number 46237, City of Bristol, on a diverted down express train, the Royal Scot. This was one of the engines to remain green after the livery changes of the late 1950s. Other diverted trains seen at Stetchford that day were Royal Scot number 46141, an engine which remained unrebuilt until October 1950, Britannia number 70042 Lord Roberts, one of the former Eastern Region Britannias, and this rare double heading between a Class 40 diesel and a Stania Black 5.
Snow Hill once again, and this down express behind a King-class locomotive was bound for Birkenhead. The Hall was about to take the train of London Transport Underground stock back to the capital. And another king preparing for departure for the north. Some Stanier Black Fives on the Coventry line near Marston Green. The first was fitted with Caprotti valve gear. And this one was on a special working. Stafford was a paradise for fans of steam locomotives in the 50s and 60s. This is Royal Scott 460 number 46124, London Scottish, on a special train. These specials were quite common during this period. Some more trains at Stafford. Firstly, Princess Royal number 46209, Princess Beatrice. She was a crew-based locomotive. Four five seven three five Comet was one of the two Jubilee class locomotives to be rebuilt with the larger Royal Scott type boilers. However, they retained their slightly smaller cylinders. Stania 8F number 48723 was fitted with a smaller Fowler type tender. And this Stania Black 5 was on another special. Engine number 44709 spent most of its working life allocated to Carnforth. A pair of Castle class locomotives are seen double heading this train into Snow Hill. And two shots of Princess Coronation number 46240, City of Coventry, at the same location near Coventry on consecutive days. The Manor was seen at Snow Hill. Eiford Manor was one of 30 lightweight 460s built in 1938 for working secondary lines. Still at Snow Hill, this is another castle, one of the earlier examples. Jubilee number 45682 Trafalgar 
was a regular performer on cross-country trains. It's seen here leaving Birmingham New Street. Some more trains at Stafford. Firstly, Fairburn 264 tank engine number 42079 on this soccer special. City of Leicester, one of the Princess Coronation class which was never streamlined. Another Princess Royal, this time red liveried 46208, Princess Helena Victoria. Like the Princess Coronation class, some of the Princess Royals received the crimson livery in the late 50s, whilst others remained green. 46206 was one which kept its green livery. Four five seven three five Comet again. One of the Scottish-based coronations, 46223, Princess Alice. A much more common sight at Stafford was Carlisle-based coronation, number 46238, which was called City of Carlisle. And another of the green coronations, City of St Albans. Driving wheels on these engines measured six foot nine inches in diameter. Meanwhile, back at Snow Hill, we see Castle Class locomotive number 5070, Sir Daniel Gooch, on this freight working. and Bucklebury Grange. With slightly smaller driving wheels than the halls, Granges developed a tractive effort of 28,875 pounds. We move down the line to Wolverhampton Low Level Station, where we see this 28-class 280-8F locomotive. The design dates from 1903. It was followed into the station by Castle Number 7015, Carn Bray Castle. Engine number 6015 was named King Richard III. These kings were by far the most powerful of the 460s and had a tractive effort of 40,285 pounds. Seven two zero seven was designed in nineteen thirty four by Collett and had a tractive effort of thirty three thousand one hundred and seventy pounds. 
It was a 282 tank engine. We now move to Scotland where we see V2 number 60955 leaving Perth with this, the West Coast Postal. Between Airdrie and Bathgate was Hillend Reservoir. This is 1913 built class D34 number 256 Glen Douglas. This is BR Standard Class 5, number 73146, leaving Stirling. Number 256, Glen Douglas, was formerly numbered 62469 in her BR days and had been shedded at Kitty Brewster in Aberdeen. This occasion was a Scottish rail tour. Britannia was at Greenhill Junction. The two Stania Black Fives passed at Bonnie Bridge. They were numbers 45443 and 45473. 44961 was at Comrie. These shots were taken from the cab on the Comrie branch. B1 number 61402 was at Glen Eagles. As was Black 5 number 45155. And 44902 complete with snowplow. Some shots near Dunblane. Firstly, A4 Pacific number 60031. B1 
Britannia number 7003, John Bunyan. Another Class A4, this time number 60011, Empire of India. Many of this class finished their days in Scotland. Two black fives passed. They were numbers 44796 and 44980. XLNER V2, number 60835. a standard class 4 tank engine. Seven three zero five six, And finally, black 5 number 45473 with this mail train. At Dunblane itself, we see another Stania Black 5 with snow plows fitted. It was number 45214. <laughs> These are some engines on Perth Shed in July 1962. Such scenes today seem light years away. The end of a short branch line from Tillinort Junction in northeast Scotland was Banff Station. Although a beach enclosure, the station building survived intact until the late 1970s. This is BR Standard Class 2, number 78045, shunting its train ready for the return trip to Tillinort Junction. And this is part of that trip.
the train arrives at Tillinort Junction. A Stania Black 5 works the evening freight train out of Oban. At this time, this was the only book steam working on the line. Cameraman Neville Sims was so impressed he was back 24 hours later to film the train again. Ferry Bridge. At this time it carried both road and rail. Today it sadly is just a road bridge. This Black Five is seen shunting at Connell Ferry Station. It was number 45214. Now we're travelling behind a black five, climbing towards Glen Cruiton. The special signals were to indicate any rock falls which may have occurred. When rocks fell, the signals automatically reverted to the danger position. Suddenly we're back in England, at Stafford again to be precise, the only link with Scotland is the Scottish based Princess Coronation class engine, number 46224, Princess Alexandra. Another one of the red coronations, number 46245, City of London. This was reputed to be one of the best of the class. Immaculate Green class member, number 46221, Queen Elizabeth, another Scottish region coronation. <laughs> 47359 was an 060 Ginty tank engine designed in 1924. Still at Stafford, we see red coronation number 46248, City of Leeds. But back at Snow Hill, a much less glamorous engine, this 81 class 262 tank. A Great Western Hall, number 6930, looking rather forlorn, having been shorn of its name and number plates. and BR Standard Pacific number 70033, Charles Dickens.
another hall is seen, light engine at Hockley. This one was named Beechamwell Hall. Still at Hockley, and this is Merivale Hall, still retaining its number plates. By this time, the early 1960s, many steam engines were being neglected and engine cleaning seemed virtually non-existent. Manor number 7821, Ditch Heap Manor, typifies the era as it works this local train. Even the relatively new BR standard locomotives were showing signs of neglect. This was class 5 number 73014, the former Shrewsbury based engine. The unusual combination of a Stania 2808F and a Grange worked this passenger train. But it's back to Vauxhall on the southern region again for the next few shots as we see this unrebuilt West Country Light Pacific. Followed by Merchant Navy Class Pacific number 35030, Elder Dempster Lines. Three four zero seven one six zero one Squadron was one of the Battle of Britain rebuilds. All 30 of the larger Merchant Navy class Pacifics were rebuilt. This is United States Line. And this is 35011 General Steam Navigation. Three four zero five seven was an unrebuilt example of the Battle of Britain class. Three five zero one one again. This time on a Pullman Express passing Clapham Junction. And 34017, Ilfracombe, a rebuilt West Country. Another BR standard class 4 tank engine. And the smaller class 2 version. Another shot of 34071. And 82018. The Southern had many of these BR Class II tank engines allocated to its region. A Southern engine on Midland metal. This was 34051 Sir Winston Churchill on a special train at Birmingham Snow Hill Station. This engine is now preserved at York.
another preserved engine, the famous Flying Scotsman, also seen on a special at Snow Hill. Still on the theme of specials, this SLS excursion had two unlikely bedfellows in charge. 6435 was a 1932 former GWR 060 pannier tank and 44188, a 1924 LMS-built 060 tender engine. was the first of the 1944 built Hawksworth modified halls. A tender first XLMS 8F. Number 48629 spent most of the post war years allocated to Wilsdon Shed. A scene to gladden the hearts of all steam fans. This haul had come to the rescue of a failed Class 47 diesel. was another steam engine to escape the cutter's torch. It was bought by the late Pat Whitehouse, an avid railway enthusiast. Four six four five six, an Ivert Class Two two six zero tender locomotive was one of the last engines to be designed for the LMS. Another Stania Black 5. These locomotives were one of the most successful design of British steam locomotives and were very popular with enginemen. A total of 842 were built. At home on Great Western Metals, 28 class number 3812 was a class 8280 freight locomotive. Another Ivert class 2 at Birmingham New Street Station. Pannier tank number 3625 at Snow Hill. An Ivert Class 2. The Black 5, both on Camp Hill Bank. and 92248, a standard class 9F, also at Camp Hill. This train was being banked by standard class 4, number 76043, an engine which was shedded in the London area during its first years of service. We end, where else, 
at Birmingham Snow Hill Station, where we see Stania Black 5 number 44832 passing through the station with a special train.